This is the letter mem, which has an m mm sound. If we place the letter mem in front of the word eretz, we have me'eretz, which means from a land. The letter mem is frequently used in Hebrew as a prefix to mean from. Now, the mem also has two different forms. If it appears at the very end of a word, then it takes on this form. It's called the mem sofit, or the final mem. The next letter is the letter yud, which has a y or y sound. When the letter yod is placed at the end of a word, for example, eretz becomes artzi, it means my land. So the letter yod is commonly used as a suffix added to nouns that mean my. This is the word ba, which you learned in the last lesson means he came, past tense. When the letter yud is prefixed to a verb, it means he comes, present tense. Another example is amar, which means he said, past tense. But when the yud is prefixed to this verb, it becomes yomer and means he says, present tense. Here we have the word yam, which means sea, like the Mediterranean Sea. Notice the mem takes on the final form because it's at the end of the word. Now, if we add the suffix yod mem, we have yamim. Now, notice that the mem changes to the regular mem because it's no longer at the end of a word, but the mem in the yod mem suffix takes on the final form. Yamim is the plural form, sees. This vowel pointing is called the hirek, and it has an e sound. So here we have me and b. Now this vowel is called the tsere, and it has an a sound. Here we have a and me. So let's practice these letters. V. Bay, vey, b, a, e, me, may, ma. Ma. Now let's practice some syllables. A. E. V. B. Me. Aim. Im. And here's our new vocabulary words. Aim is mother. Me is who. Amy, my mother. Avi, my father. Yavo means he comes or he will come. Now let's take our vocabulary words and let's make some sentences. Mi ba, who came? Ba avi, my father came. Notice that in the English the word father, which is the subject of the verb, comes before the verb came. But in the Hebrew the word avi, meaning my father, which is the subject of the verb, comes after the verb ba. We will go into this in more detail when we begin to learn how Hebrew sentences are constructed. But for now, just recognize that the subject of the verb comes after the verb 
instead of before, like it does in English. Yavo avi, my father will come. 